What's your character's name? I hope they give you. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to say. No. No. They give too much away. Is it a Pakistani surname? No. Muslim. No. American. What's your name? What's your name? Cody well, what I will Johnson. say is I got I got the <laughs> na- I got the name changed. You got the name changed. Yeah. When they offered me the role, I said I'm only doing it if you change the name. Really? Yeah. Why? What was wrong with the name? It was just way too English. Oh, you okay? Yeah, I had the most English name. Oh, okay. What was it? what was your name? Well, uh, think of an English name. Uh, uh, Timothy Cobblepot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the shame is delicious. It's so funny how your go to for an English name. <laughs> What's that? It's always Timothy. Is it Timothy or um what? <laughs> yeah, no, Timothy Dave. Or Dave, yeah. Oh, Darren's so English, it's nothing else, is it? You don't go, oh Darren, oh the French kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darren! Yeah, yeah, we know exactly where he's from—the Midlands. We need a, uh, we need, we need to mainstream Ricardo. Mainstream Ricardo. Are you wearing Dragon Ball Z socks? I'm wearing Dragon Ball Z socks today. Yeah, it's one of this cool kid. Can you get out on camera, Dragon Ball Z? What? Why? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why? Why are you wearing uh, a, a shirt? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, all my t-shirts are in the wash. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Is yeah. that the one with? Uh, That's just gonna annoy me. Is that? Wait, I know this one. Is that the one? Is that the one with Margin Boo? Is there that, we go. Come is that on, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, look at this guy. And Goku. And Goku. Okay. Yeah, and Jesus, it goes downhill from there. Oh, I don't know anyone else. I'll take it though. Margin Boo's a great one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He turns people into chocolate and eats them. And does he? That's what he does. Is that his thing? He loves chocolate. Turns people into chocolate and eats them. And eats them, yeah. That's a pretty good superpower. As for, I think it's a pretty decent one, yeah. Does he not get diabetes? Is he not? No, no. Is that he not a, in the thread? Yeah, I don't think that would really work for sort of, <laughs> um, a fighting anime. It's like, oh, what's he doing over there? Oh, he's just checking his blood sugar levels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just before he gets into a fight, he gets some insulin out and starts... <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Hold on a second, Super Saiyan Goku. I've just got to chip me in some. How does he turn him to chocolate? What does he do? He fires like a, a beam from his like head. A chocolate beam from uh, his head. A chocolate beam from his head. And then when he eats you, he can get your powers. You know we're grown adults talking about this right now. <laughs> you know what? Intro, you right? know what really hurts? I was talking about it super seriously. And I'm a grown adult. Yeah. 35 this year. Okay. Well, welcome to Shame is Delicious. I know, it's my favourite part of the show. That's the perfect bit of the linking to shame. The zero I, intro. I think it's shameful. To and talk Owen about. has to go, how about we do, we do the an intro? intro. Like, All right. Every episode. Welcome to Shame is Delicious with me, Ishan Akbar, and him. Darren Harrier, what's up? We're very excited. It's been a good few weeks in Shame is Delicious Towers. First of all, why would you say a good few weeks? As Sid if this Towers. Is, as if this is the first episode that we've recorded. For, that's how it sounds to people at home. They're going, what do you mean a good few weeks? Have you just not given us old episodes the past No, no, weeks? no, no. It has been a good few weeks. It we has did, been a great few we weeks. We did our first ever live show, and then we did our first live show in London. Yeah, we did. At the Just For Last Festival. And they were both great. Thank you to everybody who came. It was really fun. Thank you to Vittorio and thank you to Michael as well. Yeah, our wonderful guests. Go and check them out. They're all on Michael tour. Michael Lacadere, Vittorio Angeloni, is it? Yeah, yeah, Angeloni. That's it. Vittorio, I always, Angeloni I, always get, it. I always feel like I say it wrong. Yeah, Angeloni. I always feel like I'm saying Angelone. And Angel, Angel One. Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria Angel One. Why am I laughing when that was probably the hackiest joke that he's had to put up with all of his life? He probably hasn't. I'm sure he has. School kids are mean. They call no, you. But awesome. Angel One isn't a mean one. It's a good one. Yeah, but you would hate that if your name is Angelone, like would a you? proud Italian name. Speaking of names that you could tell where they're from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vittorio yeah, Angeloni. Oh, I think Eastbourne. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guy from Belfast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but look, the Shame is Delicious live show at uh, the O2 was amazing. Thank you to Just for Laughs London. I mean, we were, we, it was us, right? Yeah. You had Ryan Reynolds. I know. Who was man. there. You had like. You had like Ashley and B, you had James A. Caster, you had all the, yeah, you had Craig Robinson. Oh my God, we had all these people and we had Darren do a gala show to 1,800 people. With the legend, Catherine Ryan. With the legend, Catherine Ryan, and he smashed it. Oh. Uh, and it was the day before the, our, our, our first live podcast in London. And you know, Darren did such a great job of letting the 1,800 people know that we were there the next day, that actually we had... 
Th- 30 people turn up first. Yeah, I kind of, I, I forgot to tell everyone. And it was quite worrying because I realized at the beginning there was like 30 people and we were happy. And I was like, this is because I forgot to tell the 1800 people that if literally, if they turn their neck slightly to the right, <laughs> they would have seen exactly where we were. Because apparently you talked about all by one in the... I did mention all by one as well. Yeah, I did say that I used to work security at All Bar One. And instead of going, I used to work security at All Bar One. Also, on the Saturday, 4 p.m., I'm doing a show at All Bar One. There, yeah. I just went straight into... Oh, I'm so glad to be here. This is not to be me. Yeah. What a, what a douche. But thank you to everybody who came. It really picked up as it really, well. We had quite a few people. I don't know what the final numbers were. No, it looked like it was... We had 30 pre-book and then yeah. it was like 55, 60 in the room. So. Yeah, yeah. So it was really... Thank you to everyone who turned up and... Uh, if you're new, if you were new to the podcast, thank you for being there. We, it sounded like everybody enjoyed yeah. themselves. We also had some great gifts from Jin. Uh, well, as well, look, shout out to Jin. Jin turned up with bearing gifts, and we were both so. I mean, I was really humbled. I was, that. I was, I was humbled too. I wasn't humble. That's a weird phrase. I was I'm, humbled. I was humbled. Look at these. Show your one first. This is the uh, look at that. Right. Shame is delicious. You know what I like about Jin. She's sorted our uh, merch out before we did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, she actually sorted our merch out. Look at this. It's a shame is delicious mug. And at the bottom there, it says, with Darren Harriet and Ishan Akbar. Yeah, now, that's, that's me and that's him. Now, initially, you'd look at my mug and say, well, it's the same, isn't it? Well, no. Because my one says, with Rob Blackett, that's him, and Michael Packentire, that's me. Yeah. That's great. But yeah, it's my least favourite one of the two. It's amazing. And she also brought us this. This is how you know you're a fan of the podcast when you know where we're from. Because most people would go, Darren, he's from the black country. Yeah. Ishan, uh, he's from London. But yeah. actually, it's a bit more. A bit more than that. Look at this. Straight out of Whitechapel. Yeah, straight out of Whitechapel that's, card. That's where I was born, baby. Straight out of Oldbury. Is that where you were born? That's where I was born, baby. That's mad. So, <coughs> Thank big you, up, Jin. Jin. These will be going up. These will be going up for our first ever bits of merch. And you're right, she's the first person to come up with them. Oh, I'm going to do health and safety and say, don't lean it against the yep. burning candle. <laughs> yeah. Put it against there. Oh, it's going it to be, it's gonna be a bit dodgy and uneven then. No, for, the, for the time being, it's all right, isn't it? Okay. It's going to block yours out of the way. Yeah, but we're going to put it up later, just for now. Okay, cool. I mean, Owen's over there going, this looks shit, but fine. Because it should be on either side. Yeah, but it can't. Turn your bloody candle off then. Well, I'm not going to turn a candle off. Why are we arguing? You, you keep... Turn a candle off. <laughs> Blow it out. <laughs> turn, it turn a candle off. Can you please turn a candle off? Right, there you go. Happy now? Uh... Right. Everybody happy? Is it, is it symmetrical? We can continue. Yeah. We, we yeah, can continue, continue with the podcast now. Yeah, I think. Owen's OCD kicked in there. It did, really. So, Ishan, um, what have you been up to, mate? Let's get into it. What have I been up to? Yeah. You're set, you're, the thing is, ever since I turned up to the studio today... What... I feel like you had a bit of an energy because um, you want me to talk about the announcement that I made. I, I don't want you to talk about any announcement that you've made, mate. Oh, what announcement was that exactly? What's well, going on in your life? You may or may not have seen uh, that your boy, Ishan Naveed Akbar, straight out of Whitechapel, straight into Netflix, baby. Ishan is a Netflix star. Well, I don't know about star, but I am <clears throat> in the next season of Sex Education. Uh, we announced it last week, and it's coming out later in the year. And it's a fairly hefty role for my first ever acting role. Yeah, yeah, you're a part of the main cast. Discounting yes. Spitting Image, I assume. Of course, yes, I oh, apologise. Was you Rishi Sunak in Spitting Image? It's Rishi Sunak, Sajid Javid, and Narendra Modi. Nice, nice. All it'd the brown be, guys. It'd be nice if you went, Rishi Sunak, Sajid Javid, and Kwasi Kwarteng. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the brown guys on a show where you don't actually see me. Yeah. Uh, can I, can I, can you talk about your uh, Netflix sex education experience in the voice of Rishi Sunak? It's, yeah, it's, ba- it's like this. So I had a really good time. It's me. I, um, a- <laughs> I, was, I was like, wow, you really turned into the character yeah. there. <laughs> it's me. It's just me. Uh, I am also a privately educated, well, not billionaire, but you know. I've, I think I've got billionaire energy. And you definitely eat out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> got billionaire glasses. I've got, well, I've got billionaire glasses. You have. Me and the nephew of the grand Your glasses are slightly the smudged today. What have you been doing? Slightly smudged, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and uh, the right, right one. Oh, I haven't. Good. I don't know. I, I, Do someone, you just poke it and go, money? Someone, someone spotted me on the way, way up here, and they gave me a hug, so probably that. What, like a... Because like a... they saw me opening for Mickey Flanagan last night at the Apollo. Things are going really well for me at the moment. People saw you opening for Mickey Flanagan at the Apollo and they noticed you're here. 
They saw me on the train to Birmingham. They were like, going, oh my God, they were going you ruined it for me. <laughs> they were going, going up to Birmingham. Uh, we, I was next to her at the Greggs getting my uh, sausage roll. Of course, like a proud Muslim. Yep, uh, sausage roll and a coffee. And uh, she followed me through the gates and she said, well, did you open for Mickey Flanagan last night? I said, yeah. She goes, oh my God, you were so great. My husband has seen you on a few things before. I'd never seen you before. I thought you were brilliant. Do you mind saying hello? I said, yeah, I did. Gave them both a hug and that's probably where the smudge came from. Anyway, Netflix. Who hugs that close <laughs> that your glasses are smudged? What, you put a forehead on your eye? <laughs> See, you know, sometimes when you hug someone for the first time, we don't really know like the bod- you know, how the bodies are supposed to meet. Because you can either go too far wide. So yeah, you end up who goes head first? Person. I don't go head first, but it was like close enough that her hair probably smudged me. I don't know how. Uh, mm. She had big hair. That's, what was it like? Was it like a gelled afro? Like how are you? It was, it was like big curly hair. Big curly. I don't know. I feel like you just making like a this Jerry up curl. Oh, she had a Jerry. Oh, really? Would she like? Would she, did she go like this? Uh, are you Ishan? <laughs> <laughs> what she gave I'm you surprised her. you know about that. What do you mean? surprised to know about that? What? Just got on bold. <laughs> what, you forgot to know about black hair. You're surprised I know about Jerry. That's the most offensive thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Surprise! I don't like goddamn Jericho. I permed my hair back in two thousand and who was the who was the Chelsea player, the African guy who had the Mohican? Mohican? Yeah, the Mohican, black Mohican. Oh. What was his name? Gosh, I white guy. No, it was William Gallas. William, William Gallas. Gallas. I had a William Gallas mohawk in like two thousand and seven, two thousand and six. Wow, and I permed was... it down here, that's and a... I was living my best life. That's a baby. strong. Do you have got pictures? I have got a picture. Yeah, you're gonna to have to find that out. All right, everybody. Me... I've, I've legit... Oh, can you find my phone up there? Right, he's gonna got look picture. for his picture. I also had. Uh... Do you feel ashamed of it or no? No, that was hot, dude. 18, 19 year old down was hot. I had, I had triangle sideburns. 18, side... 19 year old down was hot. I had like triangle sideburns. Did you? Yeah, I went all out. I was a real. You've had quite the um, stylistic changes in your life. I feel like you need to do that in life. You need to like mix things up. You can't just be a boring, basic how, business. How would, you, how would you describe today's Darren? What, what, what's, um, what's settled today's, in his, settled, today's. Settled in his Darren. way. Um, I would say. The junkyard chic. I would, excuse me? What? This is, this is me. I'm traveling to Manchester. I'm very traveling Darren it's right it's now. But I do, I do miss the- The Macklemore years. The Macklemore. Thrift shop. <laughs> is this just your excuse to just yell? Like, <laughs> offense. Okay, this is the picture of me. The bric a years. I'll tell you, you can't really see the perm too good. Darren bric a The Darren bric a Okay, this is, you want to keep going? I'll wait, I'll, <laughs> I'll, a great time. I'll wait for you to finish. <laughs> oh, no, okay, I'm done, sorry. Um, also, I forgot my eyebrows were shaved. I had the lines in the eyebrows. Oh, the yeah. Kid. Look at this dude. Holy Jesus Christ. Show the camera. <laughs> Look the at this. Look at that guy. Look at this. You can Jesus see the Christ. eyebrows. The eyebrows had slits in because that's what we did back then. Look at the sideburns on that. And the Moeken. That was a Moeken. Well, that it's gone dark. Oh. Again. That was a Moeken that had permed. And look at the earring on the side as well. What a bad boy. Wouldn't you bring that guy home to your mum? Were you doing comedy then? To have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing comedy back then, dude. Not terrible. Not, not very good because I was too handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Way too handsome. I was too handsome the, to do stand up. The audience were like, does he know how handsome he is? Does he, he has no idea. I was gorgeous. I, my skin was on fire. Did you ever talk about your mohawk? I, I don't really remember. I think I just, I think I was uh, too cool for school. To How, like... So explain when you went to your barbers. Look at me now. Fuck. You look great now. Yeah. Oh, I, think, I think this is your most handsome. I, you, that is, I'm going to fucking leave the podcast no, do you now. Know why? You, Did you not see this dude? Why, let me tell you why. Because this dude could wear flares. Let me explain. It's because your face has grown into your teeth. As you get older... <laughs> As you get older, Fuck. your ears keep growing, right? So everything is like proportionate to your, I, to your teeth. Um, you know what? <laughs> I think I'll reply to that. Stupid <laughs> bit. So, anyway. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> As you get oh, older, your ears hey, keep growing. I've just seen a picture of me. Remember when you said the beard? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that was your like <laughs> that was your like converted to Islam in prison years. Dude, I this was, was I was full of you can't see because it's black. <laughs> Look at that. I had a nine inch beard. And baby. you know what? That is the proper Muslim way to have a beard as well. So you, good. You're not meant to have a mustache, it's just the beard. Bro. God, and my eyes as well. I look like um, I've just been told the mission. And I think when you've got a beer in front of you as well, it makes it look like <laughs> I'm having a, I'm having one beer. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm breaking the rules. Wow. You've had some looks, bro. Oh, that that's that this is the picture of the, this is the one. That's where you can see the full beard. Oh yeah, that's that's people on the, people are like Darren never had a nine inch beard. He did. Look there. Stand, Look at that. Stand up central days. Look at that beard there. Oh, I remember that. I tell you. I tell you. Muslim people loved. Me. Of course they did. Loved me. Yeah. Inshallah. In Assalamu alaikum. I was yeah. like, yeah, bro. And yeah. I put my, my my steak bait, my great Greg's <laughs> sausage roll or whatever yeah, in my yeah. back pocket. Yeah. That, I, I mean, remember one time I was eating pork scratchings. <laughs> Someone said, Salam alaikum. Yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. brother. I was like, yeah, crunch, walkers. crunch. I was like, yeah, this is really salted. <laughs> um, no, genuinely, though, all jokes aside, I do think, I think this is your most handsome. Do you think you're at your most handsome? No, 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 no. Do you feel like when was your most handsome? Oh, it's not happened yet. Nah, dude. I not. think I'm one of those people that's going to get hotter with age. Do you think you're going to get hotter? So you don't dye your hair or anything, do you? No. Which is wild to me that you've got no greys yet. So what's going to happen is your greys are going to... Do you want to be like like a silver fox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy with the salt and pepper silver fox thing going he, on. Here's a question for you. Yeah. Say tomorrow... Yeah. You start losing your hair. Yeah. And you go, oh man, I've lost a pack. It is all coming off. Oh, really? Ev, I am not... Keeping any patches, bro. No, no, no. I thought you'd go and get the surgery. No. You wouldn't get one of, what's it called? An FT, when they take the bit from the back. No, the no, no spider web on my head. Thank you very much. You, I, I thought you'd go and get the bit taken from the side, put it on the front. No, I'd go full gone. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'm I'd, actually surprised. I really? Thought you, I thought you would be one of those guys that I'd talk to and be like, yeah, I'm just taking these pills to keep my no, hair no. off of them. It's got, I mean, I love my hair and I'm very grateful for my hair. Yeah. Thank God my dad's got such amazing jeans. You've got great hair. No, jeans. I'm 38, no, no greys. That's wild to me. I'd like to go great, but the moment I feel like, oh, it's got, it's, it's going, going, gone. Yeah. Before it gets to the gone, that motherfucker's gone, bruv. Yeah, I did that. I was <clears> like, nah. Cause I don't, the last thing, it was just as I was coming into TV as well. So that was brutal. <laughs> I was just getting TV, like my first early TV, you can see my hair is just like it's thin. Thinning out. It's not cool. And yeah. I was like, I don't want to be no. I don't yeah. want to be the guy who does loads of TV with like you know where you see a guy's hairline goes really far back, yeah, and it's, it turns into like a goalpost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like real. I was like, nah. Yeah. So I just shaved it all off, and ever since then I've just been bold. But I tell you one thing though, if there was anything that would grow my hair back, I'd give it a go just to see what it looked like. You know, when I was younger, I was really into. You know, Alan Shearer had like this receding hairline thing. Yeah. I was really into it. Please tell me you used to. Sh <laughs> please tell me you used to shave. Just I, I I always wanted like that little footballer. I just think it looks really good, even now. I feel like there's like a maturity to it. To have, well, yeah, there is a maturity to it. It's, it's old, <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's by definition, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. That's exactly yeah, you what don't happens. see a six-year-old with a receding airline. What do you think was your most shameful period of look? Is there any you look back? And you're like fuck, because I've definitely got one. What's what's yours? Let me have a think of mine. I was like early teens, and my mum still used to dress me. Uh, right. Why would you? Why would you dress? My mom couldn't dress me as a. Teen. As in, not as in like physically dress me. Not well, yeah, buy my clothes. Well, yeah, I gathered that she wasn't like. All right, take a. I meant your mom would tell you what you had to wear. <laughs> yeah, my mom. But, but your mom always wants you to look adorable because it's your mom. Yeah, yeah exactly. So what were you dressed like a sailor? <laughs> yeah, well, basically, <laughs> like there was this one. Not to, it's not it wasn't as cool as that, but I my mom bought me this fleece from CNA. Do you remember CNA? No. C I CNA. Yeah, do you remember CNA? Yeah. It was this. I had this multicolored fleece. And my mum said to me that because like it was the 90s and like things were cool now, yeah. she told me this fleece from CNA was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good for your mum. Oh, man. I'd wear this fleece. No one else was wearing fucking fleeces. It was the Nirvana years. Oh, oh yeah. Right? No. It was the Nirvana years or it was the kind of Blur Oasis years or it was like the boy band years. Take that years, right? This CNA fleece did not fit with any group. Now nah, you were dressed like Eurovision. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I was just <laughs> rocking this Lith uh, Lithuania entry. Yeah. All over, the fuck <laughs> all over the fucking gap. It looked shit. And I had like these thin framed glasses and my hair was like flat and side parted. Ooh. Oh, man, it was bad. It was bad. Your mum used to do that for your hair? Your mum, yeah, mum would go to the hairdressers and tell, tell them what, 
I remember, oh, speaking of like, yeah, the hair. I used to get like patterns and stuff put in my hair. That's probably my most douchiest thing. But it's cool. It's cute because you're really a kid. So I'd get like like Nike on the back of my hair. I know it's, it's just so black, isn't it? <laughs> like we couldn't afford the brand itself. So we just have a, <laughs> a copyright version of it on the back of my head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Nike. I remember one time I wanted to uh, remember, uh, remember Kappa. Yeah. With the, the logo. Where you covered the top so it looked like a pussy. <laughs> what? Kappa, you covered the, the, the top bit so it looked like open legs. Oh, oh I see wow. what you mean, yeah. God, the lengths you go as a kid for creepy. Yeah, did you, not, did you not ever do I know, that? No, I never threw that. No. You never covered the top to make it look like it was a uh, No, legs I was over. just a fan of the brand. I wasn't <laughs> trying to get off on it. Did you ever do that? I, I, I mean, know what you mean now you've said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, like you I know. say it. Yeah. That's pretty, I'm surprised you never did that. That's more genius than like boobs in a calculator. I went to private school. <laughs> I remember I asked the guy if he could give you the Kappa logo in the back of my head, which is like art because it's two women just, yeah. with their back. And he went, yeah, he just, he just shaved in Kappa. Wrote the letter K. He just wrote, he shaved Kappa. <laughs> just there. In capital letters, the easiest thing you could do. And I had Kappa written on the back of my head like that was my name. It's like I wanted the logo. That is unbelievable. How long did you have that for? Well, it, as long as it took, so it's about... Well, oh, so you didn't shave it off? No, no. You just rocked it. You, you can't go to the barber. Oh, uh, you messed up. Shave that. Because then I would have just had like an eraser in the back of my head. Because he would have shaved off the... No, I had to leave it in. Do you remember um, Brazilian Ronaldo's? Yeah. 1998. Oh, gosh, the front... The, the front little... That's reverse minch, balding. The minch thing that he did. Yeah, it's reverse balding. Weird. It looked like a, like a, a somebody hit, hit a tee off or something. Like golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a front... Just a little patch there. Michael did that for a bit. I, I guarantee people were rocking that mm. hair. So, remember, was it the um, Romanian team who all dyed their hair blonde? Blonde, yeah. That was sick. That was so cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've they never were... dyed my hair another colour. I'd like to do that. Um, uh, there was a period where I wanted, like, even, like, now, kind of a little bronze. Streak. No, first bronze streaks yeah. I wanted, and now I'm kind of into getting, a, like, a silver streak. I say, you know, you've got some good hair genes when you're like actively trying to get silver and gray in your hair. Really? When you're at the age where you should have silver and gray. I just hair. feel like I just want like a couple just like of what? Yeah, because you just yeah. want to do that. Yeah. Pull back. Yeah. I know, I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah man. He's trying try to age. He just wants to age himself up sexier, which is not what people do. Most people try to age themselves down. No, no, no. I want to age myself up because I think I think maturity is sexy. And I think the older I get, the more confident I become, the sexier I'll become because I already sound like this. <laughs> I've got great glasses. Yeah, no, they're, they're good. Yeah. I'm a very kind and enthusiastic lover. Two okay. very important qualities in a lover. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a good career going well. Yeah. Caring. Okay. Yeah. D just like your LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> can you endorse me <laughs> and I just think that the look is the final thing is the missing piece for me to become like one of the most desirable men in the world you've already got the 80 year olds after you so a bit more mature yeah, there you go. Would be, that is uh, true yeah yeah. yeah you've, you've got Ethel I'm, I'm not far away from being one of the most desirable men in the world okay so now that you've said you're not far from being the most desirable man one of the one of the so like you Brad he is Pitt. slightly humble. One of the best. Yeah, one of them. Brad, Brad Pitt. Me. I'm talking. I'm talking. Me. Elba. Chalamet. Holland. Okay. okay. Right. <laughs> Pedro Pascal. Okay. Very, very right? British. That's that's Chalamet. Elba. <laughs> yeah. Me. Yeah. Akbar. Akbar. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. The... Vanity Fair. One day. Johnson. Yeah. No. Vanity Fair magazine. One Johnson, day. Dwayne Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Oh, you do it. No. What Johnson do you think I meant? Boris. <laughs> You are such a nerd. <laughs> that really shows the difference in both of us. This, I went to Dwayne Johnson, you went to Boris. The thing is, it makes it makes sense that I'm aspiring to be on the same level as these people because I'm now a Netflix star. I mean, you are a Netflix. Yeah, you are. You, yeah. It's just, no one can ever take that away from me. No, I mean, they no. can actually. Netflix can, to be honest, if they want to. I mean, yeah. They, they, I mean, there's still Don't a watch this podcast. There is still a chance they can edit you out. Yeah, yeah, they might do. You know. They could just replace you with That'd be so funny. It'd be so funny that I've announced it. 
Oh, dude. And then I just don't turn up in any episodes. Oh, I'm like, whoa, whoa, well, I got the money. Yeah, you get that. You get that email. Uh, well, actually, with uh... to be fair, they did. They they're one. They're the ones who said you can announce it. Say you're starring. That's good enough. Just, just a cruel prank. Oh boy, you would love that. You would love it. I would have a podcast just by myself yeah. <laughs> to talk about it. I would then FaceTime you just so we could get the pain. <laughs> That would, that would make me laugh. As much as I'm happy for you and your career and all that, it would make me laugh so much. You know that happened to me with Stand Up Central? Oh, oh yeah. what happened? Uh, so I did Stand Up Central and I, I recorded it on the 16th of May, 2018. And that was the four-year anniversary of my mum's passing, right? So when I recorded that day, I put a post out being like, what a mad thing. Like, I think I remember that. Yeah, to record it on the day of my mum's passing, blah, blah, blah. You know, very heartfelt post. Cut. <laughs> and Comedy Central show. were like, what? what? <laughs> yeah. We don't care. <laughs> Cut. <Paste>. Delete. <laughs> Hold. Scroll. Oh, bin. bin. You hear that crunch yeah. noise? <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly, bro, that's exactly what happened. Because uh, when I, and loads of people liked him, like, oh, what a beautiful uh, thing, what a beautiful sentiment. <laughs> Dude, when it didn't air. I've had way worse. I've had worse. I've 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 been <clears throat> like I said to you before. I've been not brought back for a second series of TV shows, but I've told the crew that I'll be back for the second show, and I don't know. And they all knew that I'd been kicked off. <laughs> That's brutal. When you're literally going, yeah. So series, see, see you next week. I'll, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> oh yeah, and and I remember saying it to them and seeing their faces kind of like not as over the moon as I thought they would be. It was because they had all been told that I'd been not asked to come back for series two. And my agent was told the same time they were told, but he didn't tell me until a bit later because he didn't want it to get in my head. But I was, I saw them out and was like, oh, I can't wait. I think we're going to gel so good for this. Oh, and they're like, Mm. Um, and then yeah. like a week later my was like oh yeah they decided to not bring you back and I'm like no I was just talking to them like I'm coming back uh, so have you told Christian th yeah, 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 when he hears yeah he's, he's got to tell me immediately I don't care if I'm at my mum's funeral I want that text message <laughs> they're not bringing you back fine <laughs> let me know immediately it's happened twice two TV shows where I've seen people from the show and I've been talking up like I'm coming back and I'm and they <laughs> they knew that I wasn't coming back that's, That's wild, bro. And I saw one of the person and went, I did wonder why you was talking like that. Because we all knew that you were. So I didn't. And I went, oh, no, my agent told me a bit later on. Then. <laughs> yeah, then. And they were like, oh, I felt so bad. It's so embarrassing. I know. Well, this is it. Like, <clears throat> uh, what, I only announced it when I knew from them to say it. But they can still cut it. You know what you can do now, though? Netflix, you could do um, like a live Ishan Akbar comedy special like they did for Chris Rock. I mean, I think I'm a bit away from that. I think. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll put a good word in for you. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I mean, it's not like they know me. Yeah. But I can put a good word in for you. Uh, did you watch Chris Rock's special? I watched the clips. I haven't had time <clears> to, I haven't had time um, between filming my tour and opening for Mickey Flanagan. You know, you know what I like? Uh, <laughs> at the Apollo and 902s by the end of. I'm doing free at Birmingham, uh, and I... <laughs> I don't know why I brought this energy today. I don't know why. Your dick is bigger than mine. We get it. <laughs> like, you're not... on Netflix sex education. <laughs> it isn't. My... I, I did week six <clears throat> dancing on ice. Your, your, your dick is bigger than mine. No, no. My, my dick is like... Much like my career, my dick is surprising. Because <sighs> the starting position, when you, like, when you look at me, when you see me on a train, you're like, oh, well, he's just a normal dude. When you look at my penis, you're like, oh, he's just a normal tiny penis. But then, when you look beyond the pale, right, look at me, you're like, shit, he's actually quite a successful comedian doing all right. So with my penis, when it grows, you're like, fuck, that's impressive. So you're more Unexpected. Of, you're more of a grower. I am 100% a grower. You're a grower, but when it grows, you're also a shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you see it first, you're like, oh, that's a cute little button. Oh. <laughs> he's got two belly buttons, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Honestly, it does look like that. And then when it grows, you're like, oh. But then as soon as that sex education came in, you're like, look at this show. <laughs> Whoa. Look at me. Uh, did you sign that contract? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, DocuSign. Uh, but no, I've not. Have you seen it? Um, I saw the clip. Because he's your hero, isn't he? 
Well, no, no, but, uh, you know. But you uh, looked like a fat one when you were younger. I did look like a fat Chris Rock when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. No, I, obviously, as you know, I've got beef with Chris Rock. Yes, um, I watched the Will Smith <laughs> was stuff. It congratulations. It was congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Chris Rock in a lift. Basically, I told him how much he's meant to me, how important he is to my family and myself. Um, That's so funny. I then said, "I'm a comedian," and he didn't even look at me and just went, "Congratulations." <laughs> You tell the story, it gets funnier and funnier. And then I just walked out the lift, and that was my meeting with Chris Rock. And I saw him again the next morning because we stayed at the hotel, yeah. same hotel. And you're like, I saw Thank him at you, Chris Rock. I saw him at breakfast, but uh, I. Do you know I, what would have been a gangster? I learned my lesson when he was having his breakfast to congratulate him for his breakfast. Uh, congratulations on your melon. <laughs> Honestly, I wish Will Smith used the bat. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway. I watched the special. I watched well. I watched the end bit. I I enjoyed it. Uh, my favorite part of it, of course, was watching Chris Rock mess up the joke. He oh, up, I had it. He, he messed up a joke. Yeah, he was talking about the film Emancipation, but he said concussion. He, he just mixed them up. But he messed. It. it was one of those ones where you couldn't. You can't. Yeah, but then yeah. Oh, because I, I he thought stopped. he could have just stopped and redone it. No, he stopped and went. I messed up the joke, but whatever. And then he did it. He redoes the joke, and because he's already in and the that's slug, in the special. It's because it was live. So that's the that's the unique thing about it, right? He did a live Netflix special, so there was no editing. Oh. Yeah. I did enjoy watching him mess up the joke for two reasons. One, he's my mortal enemy. And two, <laughs> um, it was it was nice to see because it's a live gig. And as much as he is he pro is probably kicking a wall angry about that out of the whole thing, I guarantee he's left that gig annoyed because of that one joke. Because he it was a very obvious mistake. Right. And he even stopped it and went, I fucked up the joke. But anyway. Um, it's really good for Netflix because it shows this is a live gig, baby. Yeah. This is what you can expect to see. Whereas if that was a completely perfect gig, it wouldn't, I don't think it would have worked as well. It would have been popular, of course, but because it would have just looked like every other special. But because you've got Chris Rock, one of the greatest stand-ups of all time, messing up a joke and annoyed with it, you can, it's nice for people to see. Yeah, also, yeah. when he goes into the Will Smith stuff, you can really see his emotion because I thought, honestly, they'd had some handshakes, some back, you know, I'm really yeah. sorry. No, he, there's a whole, the funniest part of the entire routine is when he talks about how everybody kept calling Will Smith a bitch. Yeah. He goes, Charlemagne called him a bitch. The drink champs called him a bitch. The, the view called him a bitch. They said his wife's a predator. So-and-so called him a bitch. And then did it. And then so-and-so called him a bitch. Bitch! Yeah. He just keeps calling him a bitch, bitch and yeah. it's so funny. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Who does he decide to hit? Me. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's really, it's really good because you can see that he's still angry about it. And I thought, honestly, Hollywood, they would have like met each other, shook hands, said yeah, hello. Yeah. But he's very, he's still angry, and it's great because at the end of the day, he's a comedian. You've got to use what you've got to use use your what's platform. In your the thing, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he, he knew exactly what it was. He called her a predator and the way he goes into her, calls her a bitch as well. Is, um, yeah, I thought it was really good. I thought it's exactly what a comedian should do. Really? Yeah. Do you not think that, um, <clears throat> do you think Will Smith might do like a repost stand-up special? What's he, what's he, what's he going to do? Just do a stand-up special and talk about why he slapped Chris Rock. But Will Smith can't do stand-up. Well, he might. Well, I don't know. What do you think he's going to do? He's going to bring Jazzy Jeff out. <laughs> but that was a funny joke Chris Rock said. He says, uh, did it hurt? I've had summertime in my head ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is it too high? Okay. Uh, Owen was complaining that my mic was too high. What, are you new to this? Or true to this? I'm true to this. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think for Netflix, that was a test. <clears throat> That was their way of just testing out live stuff. Because mm. I think what Netflix want to do is they want to do sports. I think that, that's the only thing Netflix doesn't have, mm. any sort of sports. So I think if they can get... That's sports documentaries. Yeah, but they don't they have like live, live sport. sports. Yeah. Whereas uh, Prime have them, um, even Sky, even uh, Apple Plus. I think can you that's... imagine like live sports on Netflix? Are you still watching this? <laughs> when your team's getting absolutely hammered. It's like United 7-0 like... down. Yeah. Are you still watching <laughs> this? this? Like, no. no, no. I'd rather watch Stranger <laughs> Things. Something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... Sex Education, Starwing, Starwing, <laughs> Starwing, that's live podcasting, baby. Also, I think Netflix is going to do podcasting. Yeah, they, of course they will. They've got to get into, and you know what podcast they could probably do? Oh, I, have I, a word, have a word. I'll just probably go with them. Popular. Yeah, or uh, Shag Married Avoid. Avoid? Sh Shag Married Annoyed. 
I said, I, I don't know. Are you all right? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I said, Star Wing. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wing. The Shag Star the Wing. Wing. Yeah, yeah. You know, all those other podcasts. Or they could possibly go with... A new up and coming... Podcast. JFL London doing... Yeah? Yeah, let's... Yeah? Why are you saying that you don't believe in it? We did it. <laughs> no, no, I know. Yeah, just... J- JFL London... <clears throat> Maybe. It's just, it's just the, the word construct, the sentence construction made me Just unhappy. for Laughs London and Leicester Comedy Festival. Come on. Best new podcast nominee in our heads. <laughs> yeah. Shame yes. is delicious. Well, as you was, honestly, for a moment, I was like, I did not. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't I see that. I could see your eyes going, oh, boy, <laughs> thinking of Steve. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, the Chris, if you, I mean, you wouldn't get. Slapped on stage, I don't think. I don't know. I, f- I wouldn't put it past the audience. I-, I feel like if an audience member, a uh, male, for example, is willing to get up and slap a woman, I feel like there's way, they're much more willing to slap a man. Doesn't matter how they look. I feel yeah. like you've got to be, you've got to be a fucking psychopath to go up and try and slap a female comic on stage. No, no, but what I'm saying is you personally, if someone's coming at you, Oh, mate, I'm, f- I'm throwing first. Yeah, yeah, I'm throwing fists I- too. I- I'm throwing, I am Hulk Hogan. I'm going to be doing this to the crowd. <laughs> Just get in the water. I'm the ultimate warrior, fucking. <laughs> that's a rock, dude. Oh, that's a rock. That's, oh, God. I did that just to piss him off. Oh, dude. <laughs> did that just to piss him off. Oh, when you said ultimate warrior, I was like, okay, what? Well, yeah. yeah. No, oh, okay, I'm glad you did that. I'm fr- <laughs> Jesus Christ. That made me ill. But yeah, no, I'm throwing hands. Yeah, immediately. I, I, there is but no... then again, like, if you're at the Oscars, what was it? Was it Oscars? Was yeah, it? Like Academy yeah I mean, I don't know if you can throw hands, can you? I mean. I feel like, well, I mean, Will Smith did. I feel like it would have been, I feel like for, 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 for Will, for Chris Rock, the hardest part of that whole thing, other than being slapped and whatever and having to carry on, was the fact that you then had to watch this guy who just hit you, win an get award Oscar, yeah, and, and get a cry. standing ovation. Yeah, and cry. And that's the only part of the special that really annoyed, I wish he spoke about that, how yeah. the Academy, not, not only did they leave him in there because they didn't know what to do, but obviously you just chuck him out. I mean, bloody hell, you've been to a Weatherspoons. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. Him out. Was that the entire, everybody stood up and gave him a round of applause yeah, yeah, for yeah, winning yeah. that award after you've just assaulted somebody Someone. Yeah. in front of a billion people. And what was it that Will said that Denzel said to him? Oh. When you um, rise, the devil. The devil comes for you or something, something like, like that. Yeah. yeah. With a proper Denzel. Proper what Denzel. he should have said is he should have used his lines from training day. <laughs> King Kong ain't got <laughs> shit on me. me. Yeah. I'll burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> <laughs> Isha, yeah. what are you plugging, mate? Other than, um, you know, <clears throat> your appearances on QR. I've got an appearance coming up on QR. I know you've got an appearance on QR. I said that instead of the... Are we doing it together? No. Me on QI. Have you seen me on this show? <laughs> me, me on... I'll be the only guy to be like, oh, like, this is how like, you know, unguessable, Alan Davis is the smartest one there. <laughs> on QI, his whole thing is that he's like the stupid one. The stupid one. one, yeah. No, 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 he's the genius there. And the stupid one. Right, okay. Yeah, so you can't put... Yeah. Sorry. You always need a bigger idiot. Well, I'm filming that, but that's not out till much later in the year. Oh, okay. But the main thing is like, the tour. Like, like something else? Like, like sex education on yeah, Netflix. Of course. The tour. Yeah. How's the tour going? Anyway, you seem to be smashing it. It's going all right. People are turning up, which is very nice. People seem to be enjoying it. God, I love a low self-esteem comment. <laughs> How's the tour going? People are turning up, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going better than I thought. They're yeah. doing the bare minimum. Yeah, they're, they're turning up. They're enjoying it. I got a nice four-star review from The Times. And, you know, that's all nice stuff. It is great to see. I've, yeah, I've seen you posting about your tour and it is selling out. Yeah. And there is a lot of people turning up who seem to be all having a great time. Yeah. So that's a nice And they're thing. not hired actors. They're, like they're not. Proper genuine audience or members. Audience members. They're not crisis comedy actors. No, they're not. They're not. Or, you know, just homeless people needing somewhere warm for a bit. Yeah. I'll, oh, uh, and you've announced the second date? For the Leicester Square? Leicester, yeah. So I've added a second date at Leicester Square, the uh, 20th of May. Um, because we sold out the first one, which again I'm amazed about. Uh so yeah, eastanagpa.com forward slash tour. There are tickets available in most cities. Uh so please come uh, along. How about you? Uh again, just the tour. Started in September. Roadman, do find me on all the usual social medias. The tour is there. Please do buy your tickets. We are doing Leicester Square. We are doing Birmingham. We are doing Nottingham. We are doing Scotland. We are doing Wales, I think. We're doing lots of really yes. fun dates. We're doing Bristol. So do come. It's going to be a big tour. Um, we are going to start adding more dates. So do get your tickets now, please. 
Do you do any dates on an ice rink? No, I'm I'm kind of uh, my love affair for the ice rink has uh, has uh, melted away. <laughs> I actually think you should do one. Uh, comedy on a fucking ice rink. Yeah. Hey guys, my dad's. Anyway, sorry <laughs> about kidding. that, guys. Hey, don't laugh too much because you're making me fucking. Hey, yeah. hello. Anyway, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> uh, what are you drinking tonight, man? <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I'm, I think I'm done. I'll, uh, what I'll do is, when I finish on Sunday, I'm going to bring my boots, bring my ice skates and leave them up here. Oh, yeah, because you've got one final gala performance. One, yeah, it's one like, uh, hey, guys, I'm one of the losers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, literally, it's literally that. That is what that dance is. It literally is. Just go, hey, guys, remember that guy you didn't like enough to vote in? Hey, hey it's me. It's me. Hello. So, yeah, it'd be great to be, um, it'd be great to see everybody one last time and obviously see Tippy and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I've, I'm so glad that I, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm still injured. I've still got injuries. I've still got whiplash. I've still got a fourth knee. You poor thing. There. Well, still slice my arm open here. It's so poor thing. Just give me all your love, guys. Yeah, poor thing. Poor, poor thing. And, you know, then there's, there's you, of course, who's just doing, you know, sex education. He's mentioned it more than I have. Have you noticed I, this? I don't know what you're talking about. It was so funny with that agent now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our agent was there at the live show. Yeah, we're yeah. just making jokes about how Ishan's career is really like going over mine and how it's no 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 it's not going over yours it's not a competition no 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 but it, it, it's also not comparable we, we did meet in a stand-up competition and uh you did say this on stage that you know my agent sort of they favored you and it looks like career-wise my agent is still favoring that me. is not true <laughs> there is no way that's true <laughs> because you've done more tv than anyone in this room but when you do one tv show that you know, we went to the Comedy Awards a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, was you at the Comedy Awards last year? Yeah. I remember. Do you know which TV show won every single award? Yeah, it sex was education. Up? Sex education. And do you know which TV show is going to win every award next year when, uh, when it's eligible? Well, sex education? Sex education. I don't think so. Oh, no, look I at him so. modest. Oh, I don't think so, <laughs> mate. There's, listen, because... when you think of Netflix <clears throat> shows, yeah. there are three Netflix shows which are the biggest... Shows ever. TV show drama. Stranger Things. Yeah. Uh, Lord, Lord of the Rings. No. That's, that's, that's Amazon Prime. Also, it's a movie from 20 years ago. Okay, no. What are the other two? Uh, it's Stranger Things. Yeah. Sex Education. Yeah. And Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday is the Netflix's Netflix. biggest. Okay. Yeah, those are the three. And guess who's in none of those three? <laughs> this guy. Guess who's in one of those three? Ishan Akbar. It does look like today, we were saying earlier, it looks like that you're the one on Netflix and I'm your accountant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now it looks like you're the high profile beloved actor and I'm the guy you give the number to to your assistant to get the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, who's this for? It doesn't matter. Don't it doesn't worry matter. About it. Yeah. But why am I outside Hollywood studios? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is going to feel weird like saying actor because I am now. Like I feel weird when people legit. announce me and they say comedian and presenter. I'm like, oh yeah, I do present stuff as well. Yeah, that, yeah. that feels weird. Yeah, comedian and actor. But what happened is you're at the minute it says comedian stroke actor. You're gonna get rid of that comedian soon and you'll just be actor. No, I'm never getting rid of comedian. You know everything's in a rule of three, right? So you'd be comedian, actor, broadcaster. and broadcaster. Yeah. What would your third what would you ideally want your third to be when you're introduced? So it'd be comedian, actor, and podcaster. Oh, uh, that's good. <laughs> No. See, he's already... This, this podcast hasn't got long left, guys. No, no, it has. <laughs> no. We haven't got long left. Enjoy no, all always do, I, wouldn't call, I wouldn't call myself a podcaster. Uh, I, say, I say broadcaster. I'm happy with that. I do that now. What, yeah. is, a, what is broadcaster exactly? So because I've done... like I, was, I hosted a radio show for a while. Yeah. I do things like Sunday morning live and whatever. That to me is broadcasting, is when you're doing like... Man about town. Yeah. Does a bit of everything. Yeah, I think that's broadcasting. So it'll be, it'll be actor, comedian, broadcaster? No, comedian first, always. Okay, okay. I, that's my... You I know. mean, Owen, Owen, you heard this. You heard this now. We'll, Look, see. We'll, see, how, we'll see how things go when listen, you're on that Netflix red carpet. I'd, I'd love to do more acting, of course. Yeah. But my ultimate aim is just to keep selling more tickets so people come and see me live. Of course, of course. And but eventually, you'll do so well acting-wise, the idea of writing new material and going on tour will just be over <clears> the past. You're telling me that one day I'm not want to not want to go to Top Secret to try out a bit on a Monday at six pm. <laughs> is, is, is that what you're saying? I I feel like <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, I have a feeling. I have a, I have a weird feeling. And also because where, when you sex education, you can say this. You filmed in the UK, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's UK. Is it? Wait, it's a weird show, isn't it? It's UK based, but everyone's like American. Well, it's got the way they shoot it is meant to be ambiguous. Yeah. Uh, it's got an American high school feel. Oh, uh, okay. But it is a predominantly European cast. But I feel like once you eventually get a TV role that's outside of the UK, yeah. and you're in like LA or New York or somewhere, yeah. you, are, you aren't doing comedy. You're done. You'll be like, where's my green tea? <laughs> you, you'll, be, you'll be over. How would you feel if you ever saw me on like something like that and you saw me like making out with someone that you quite fancy? I'd, I'd be well over the moon for it. <laughs> oh, I'd be so happy. Ishan's making out with, I, I don't even know modern actresses. Who's, who's a pop? Oh, uh, Margot Robbie. Imagine that. You make up with Margot oh, Robbie. Oh, imagine if, if I, do you know what? Please make a Hitch remake where Margot is the main interest and I'm the dorky accountant. Oh, you're um, Kevin James' yeah. character. Oh, can I be the Will Smith character? Yeah, there we go. Let's hey, what that. you gotta do is you gotta let uh, Hitch kiss her. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta let you gotta let me actually kiss her first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just putting it out there. Me and Kevin James, I could be your brown KJ. You know, you know what I want? You know what I want you to do <coughs> with your fame. So I want you to do sex education, become a big star, start acting in you know little side films yeah. as you do or whatever. Yeah. But what I want you to do is I want you to make the great British film. I uh, want a good because I, I want. I've a, already got that in the works. You see. This podcast is ending soon, guys. This is game over. Yeah, I want to not... You know what it is? Because I think of British comedy films and everybody always talks about bloody Notting Hill and what's the other one? Four Lions. Four Lions is fantastic, but yeah. nobody put, thinks of that one. They always think of the... Four Lions should have won Oscars, man. Richard Curtis Shaun one. of the Dead. Shaun of the Shaun Dead. Shaun of the Dead is one. Uh, uh, Fuzz, Hot Fuzz. I love this. We're back to list. We love, we love oh, this. We love this. We're doing the list. Um, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, yeah. Or uh, Notting Hill and the other one, Love Actually. Yes. People always think of those, and I want like a great British comedy film that, yeah, like a Shaun of the Dead, like a Four Lions, like that sort of thing that people just look at and go, oh, this is genius. Well, it is hopefully in the world. Look at the com look at the, all the comedic talent we've got in this country right yeah. now. There's yeah. so many of us, and I feel like we need one that's a bit more, more like our type of comedians, yeah, yeah, yeah. as opposed to the normal sort of because there is like you know there, obviously there's like clicky people in comedy, yeah, yeah who yeah. are doing all the TV stuff. We need one that's like completely out there, yeah, completely different from like. Well, more. I'm talking to a few production companies about one of my ideas, and oh, okay, we're hoping that that will come to bear fruit in a few years. Ah, have you written it? Yeah, no, you haven't. Yeah, you already written it already. Yeah, and what role do I have? Yo, you you've got a nice role. Okay, okay. Uh, it, I mean, uh, hang on. do, do does, you want to know the role? Does my role have like a first name and a surname or is my role a uh, man and then an occupation? Because if it's man, man occupation at the end of the credits, I'll be pissed off. Like a uh, man who carries bins, <laughs> man who yells out window. I don't want one of those. Okay, what if, what if it's name and occupation? Name and, yeah, still same. Yeah. Especially if you actually use my real name. You know, Darren in accounts. What if I told you yeah. that when I wrote these characters yeah. and I wrote my friends into them, mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that the roles were reflective of their reality. Okay. Okay. So mine is Darren Hunk. Yep. Stud. Comedy yeah. legend. Yep. And you can do all of those things whilst being a bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> did, did I tell you I auditioned for a role? I think it was, um, is it Man Down? Oh, Ma On I Channel love 4. Man Down. Yeah, great I think that, there was a role of a security guard. Did not get to that. <laughs> Very much hurt. Still now. I even wore like a high vis. You know, this is my high vis. I, yeah, I turned up with a high vis. It's like, I just wanted to let them know that I uh, lived the role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's required. <laughs> All I was doing was, I think it was like airport security thing, checking bags or something. Did not happen, yeah. <laughs> One of my many, many failed auditions. I don't think I've ever had an acting audition work for me. Bro, all auditions, all auditions except this one. Yeah. All failed. That, that, that day, I had two auditions. In the morning, I did sex education. And when I turned up, I was like completely unprepared. I, 
First of all, this was an in-person audition. Yeah. I haven't done one of them in years. Yeah. I'd so, rather that. Karen's it's an in-person audition. I didn't know the script. When I turned up, I saw another comedian walking out. Everybody in the waiting room was wearing tweed. I was just wearing an overshirt and I was like, fuck this up. Oh. No idea. That afternoon, I did an audition for a BBC pilot. And I smashed that audition. And I was like, okay, if not the first one, I'll get the second one. Nailed it. Didn't get the second one. Didn't hear about the first one. Three weks later, Christian calls me and says, get to Cardiff tomorrow, you're in. Wow. That is, that is all that happened. Oh. And after that day, I called Christian before the, after the first audition. I said, look, you need, to, you need to find someone to teach me how to do auditions. Yeah. Because I hate them. I don't know how to do them. Yeah, I think I need that as well. And then I got, I got this, this uh, role. It's just mad. It's wild. I, I, so I'm sure you're the same. When you do an audition, you don't get any feedback. No. So you're not like, well, why did they say no? Can I, can I hear? You know, no. I know I didn't get the audition when I see the trailer for what I've auditioned for. <laughs> like two months later, I'll see the trailer and be like, oh, oh that's Black Adam. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, before we move on, yeah. have you guys heard the rumour that Netflix potentially could be using AI generators to come up with pitches for I'll shows? Yeah. That sounds like something Netflix would do. That it sounds, sounds like, mad. It sounds yeah. Pretty, yeah. Proper it, modern, isn't it? Proper yeah. tech savvy. Yeah, it might not be Netflix. It might be other streaming yeah, services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a rumour. It's alleged. But they could come up with pitches for ideas. They put in a synopsis or something and pick one. Man, yeah. We're going to be out of a job soon. Yeah. I know. Right? Um, well, I've had a bit of fun. I've been distracted on my phone. Yeah. Bit because I've had a bit of fun putting in a pitch for something into okay. an AI generator. <laughs> so I put, I put in... <laughs> the, 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 the prompt that it had was a one-minute comedy routine about podcasting right. by comedian Darren Harriet. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's you. And that's it's come up with a script here, which is about a minute long. It's a proper script. It's a proper like, script. I think it would be funny to see how accurate. Uh, have you read any of it? I've gone. I've read through Can it. I read it. Can I read it? I want okay. Darren to read this on camera. Let okay. me read it. Right. Uh, what I'll do is, yeah. I'll introduce you like where I'm seeing at a gig. Okay. Let me and then you have to quick. deliver it. Like about a gig. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want you to read it first. I want you to read it live. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna give you this. <laughs> okay. So Owen's walking over. Right. So don't turn it around yet. Okay. 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 Right. <laughs> Ladies and uh, gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Darren Harrier. Oh, hold on, you're going to do a little bit, just like... What? Bit, warm up the audience. Yeah, warm the audience. I'm warm the audience. Come on, uh, you can keep going. Oh, hi, mate. What's, what's your name? Uh, Owen. Uh, what, do, what do you do? I um, work in a factory. Nonce. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Darren Harrier. Hey! hey! Okay. How, folks? How are we doing tonight? <laughs> so I started a podcast recently. Uh -huh. Let me tell you. Uh been quite the experience. <laughs> I mean, who knew that talking to yourself for an hour could be so exhausting? Uh, and the best part is, nobody interrupts me. <laughs> it's like having imaginary friends, but they don't talk back. <laughs> and don't get me started on editing. I spend more time cutting out the sound of me slurping my tea than actually talking about anything interesting. <laughs> but the real challenge is trying to come up with a catchy name for my podcast. I mean, Everything, everything's been, I'm sorry about that, story. <laughs> everything's already been taken, right? Serial, my favorite murderer, stuff you should know. How about Darren talks to himself? <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> but seriously, I do love podcasting. It's like the wild, wild west of entertainment. Anyone can do it and everyone's trying to get famous from it. So if you'll excuse me, I have to go record my next episode about the history of staplers. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting stuff, I know. Thank you, and good night. Hey. Do you know what? That wasn't bad. I mean, How many comedians now are going to do AI-generated sets <laughs> to start their sets off? I mean, it's not the worst I've heard. Yeah. It? It's not the... I mean, the sentence construction was that was better than your own sentence construction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was, le there was less R's and M's. <laughs> I've, never, I've never read stand-up so confidently in all my life. Yeah, no, you haven't. <laughs> there, was, there was zero grammatical errors in this. Also, I can see why you get so many voiceover jobs. You're very good. Thank you. I really know how to sell that. Very impressive. I do. I have that no... is terrifying. Mm. I mean, Isn't it? who knew that talking to yourself for an hour could be so exhausting? And the best part is, 
nobody interrupts me. It's like having imaginary friends, but they don't talk back. That's the best line. That's a good line. That's, yeah, that's the best. That's the best line right there. I, I, there is a part of it that kind of wants to do it on stage. Yeah, do it. Because I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like that's. I feel like that would. That I think would, you should. That would. You're work. on the road, man. Tour. The best part is nobody talks back. That's really good. That's, that's actually terrifying. Ter- is that is terrifying? It's, it's very worrying. How about Darren talks to himself? I've never. I've. It's def- also. It also knows because it's. How about Darren talks to himself? No, that's terrible. Like it actually. Yeah, knows. yeah. The thing is, the, the AI, all the chat GPT stuff and all that, I've not really, I'm not really across it. So I, don't I don't know really what understand. chat PT is, but it, to me, it just sounds like one of those things you jerk off to. Well, yeah. You just read from it. That's literally chat. Oh, is that chat yeah. GPT? Oh. oh, is that chat GPT? Yeah. Oh, so it is something you jerk something off you jerk to. <laughs> something you jerk off to. <laughs> you see it on the side panel when you're on Pornhub. That is, it's, it's very interesting. That, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, Thank you, it, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not great, but. It's not it's, bad. But that's only going to get better. Better, yeah. How do they feed the word? Like, how, how do they feed the words in to know that stuff? This is what Arnie was fighting in terms of. Th- how does it know? Because it was on topic. Yeah, it, def- it, it definitely picked up all the other podcast names as well. So it, whatever the yeah. algorithm is, it's going through podcasts and it's picked some of the biggest ones. And how, because you know there was a story of a few, like last month during Valentine's Day where they were like, getting AI to generate Valentine's Day messages for your partners and people getting upset about it. And at first I was like, well, I mean, whatever. I didn't know that. I know the one they did with, um, where they had a computer. I think, I think the computer was just, it just ended up being a Natsu. Oh, oh no, it was answering people's questions, oh, yeah. but people were, just, you know what people are like, they were throwing yeah. out random. And in the end it was, it just hated everyone. Hated everyone Natsu. else. Yeah, it turned to, a little robotic Hitler. Oh, and stay on the internet for too long. Yeah. And that's what that's happens. What happens. Yeah, 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 you just... Immediately... I think it's like your six arguments away from mentioning Hitler. Yeah. Or something like Godwin, that. Godwin's law. Godwin's it? law, yeah. Every argument eventually comes down to Hitler. Hitler, yeah. yeah. Uh, you were typing furiously on your I was phone. typing furiously. So I'm, I'm trying to prompt it to give you a one minute comedy routine. Nice. But it doesn't know who I am. <laughs> it's done it. Um, the title that it's given the story that it's generated is Shameful Valentine's Date. All right. Yeah. Oh, a one-minute comedy routine by Ishan Akbar about going on a date on Valentine's Day that was very shameful. All right, let's try yeah. that. I like okay. that. Are you going to yeah. give me an intro? You I'll, an I will give you an intro. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? You good? Oh, absolutely amazing. Well, guys, look. Uh, the opening, this second half, we have a very funny comedian. Now, this comedian is new, okay? They're new. But they're gonna do their absolute <laughs> best for you. How do you guys feel about that? Come on, we love, we show people love here at the Truckle Hood. So please make some noise for Ishan Akbar. <laughs> hey there, folks. It always starts with that, doesn't it? Hey there, folks. Uh, so I went on a date on Valentine's Day, and let me tell you, <laughs> it was shameful. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing was a disaster from start to finish. First off, I showed up to the restaurant, and my date was already there. And what was she doing? She was scrolling through Instagram, liking all of her ex-boyfriend's photos. Yeah, that's right. Liking the guy's photos on Valentine's Day. I mean, come on, show a little bit of loyalty. Then when the waiter came over to take our order, my date couldn't decide what she wanted. She asked the waiter to come back five times. (laughs) And when she finally did decide, she ordered the most expensive thing on the fucking menu. (laughs) I I put the fucking in there. I mean, I'm all for treating yourself, but come on, it's not like she was paying for it. I to, oh. <laughs> to top it all off, when the bill came, my date realised that she forgot her wallet. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Shit. So I ended up having to pay for everything. So to sum it up, I spent Valentine's Day with a girl who liked her ex's photos, couldn't decide what she wanted to eat, and conveniently forgot her wallet. I think I'll just stuck. I'll just stick to being single from now on. Oh, thank you and good night. Oh. That was sad. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please, make some noise for uh, Ishan Akbar there. That was a, that was a sad, that was a sad one. Yeah, it ended sad. It sounded, that felt like a spoken word. <laughs> also, it felt like that person hated women. Yeah, I know. They were really not into They don't fucking pay for shit. I like the fact that they were like, forgotten the wallet, forgotten the purse or whatever it yeah. was. There wasn't really much comedy in there it either. No, compared to like, it? Darren's had at least a, a joke or two. What you're saying there is that the internet knows Darren Harriet the, the as internet. a comedian and knows me as an actor. No, no, knows you as a sad sack. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I, that's an a, actor, dramatic actor. 
Well, that that is still quite terrifying. It, no, it, yeah, it really is. Hey there, folks. I know. Because we could really relate with both of them. There's parts of it that you could relate yeah. to, which is kind of scary considering it was just... How much they know about it. Some sort of... Com- uh, there is a part of me that always thinks it's going into some nerd on a computer tapping it in, but it's not. It's just... Just generated it. That is scary. Anyway. There's going to be some AI murders soon. How How would that work? I don't know. I said it and then I'm, I regretted it. Let's ask chat GPT. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> or they might, they might be like AI murder notes. Yeah. I wonder what happens if you type in like, oh, uh, leave note for police after murder. The, it should call the police, shouldn't it? It won't do. It won't, no. It probably just called yeah. someone completely useless. like an electrician. 111. <laughs> electrician turned up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, I'm here for the uh, wiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm here to check your bill. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that was that was fun. It was. I feel like there's going to be a lot more AI stuff turning off on this podcast now. I think there is because it's actually quite a fun little thing. Yeah. Uh, we haven't. You can also AI generate our faces. Remember the drawings. Which drawings? The AI generated faces. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where everyone looks like a superhero. Or everyone kind of looks like a superhero. Some people already look like a superhero. Which superhero do you look like? Just the Tooth Fairy. I'm not having that. I mean, it was, it, was, it was actually kind of a good one. Do you remember the time The Rock played the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> oh, my God. The Rock in a tutu. Oh, he had to pay his debt to Disney doing yeah, that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. That, that's yeah. one of those ones where you go, oh, oh boy. boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, good. Well, that was a fun episode. Yeah. You're right. I think we're going to have to do more AI shame stuff. Yeah, definitely. I am slightly worried about AI now. Um, but you, I mean, you've slightly depressed us now. Yeah, because that, that wasn't far off a set. Like my one in particular. Yeah, what I'm saying is I'm going to steal those jokes. <laughs> That's it now. Go and see Red Man Tour 2022. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much for listening. Please do keep giving us your support, your five-star reviews, your uh, ratings, all that stuff. Share it with your friends and family and frenemies because it's all helping. We feel like it's growing. People yeah, it are, is, yeah. People are coming. We, we, we've got merch now. Thanks, Jin. Shout out to you. Um, and yeah, so keep, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Goodbye. Bye. Shame is delicious. Shame is delicious. Making bad decisions. Shame is delicious. Making bad decisions.